Okay, so let's take the Moga Game On Anywhere Moga Ace Power Controller out of the box. Now I've taken it out before, but when I'm not using it, I usually, I usually store it in the box anyway. So you have your Moga Game On Anywhere card. Here's the controller. And then we have our instruction manual and warranty information, charging cable. Ready to MOGA. I like that. So the charging cable, it's a mini USB cable. USB on one side and mini USB on the other. Oop, not a knock it up there. Okay, there we go. So USB, mini USB. And this is your MOGA, learn about the MOGA app. And you have the icon there that you actually scan and it will take you to the web page. Or you can just put in mogaanywhere.com forward slash app. And this is, yes, your Australian warranty statement. And here we have our instruction manual, which of course we're not going to read because I know how to use this already. Now, this charging cable, when you charge the MOGA, before we actually let, look into, look at the MOGA in more detail, um, I just want to show you how you charge it. So there's only one port and it's at the very top. It's your mic, your mini USB port. You would plug your cable into that. And you plug this into a USB port in your computer or desktop. And that would give you the 5 volt DC charge. Uh, that would be good enough to charge the onboard battery. Because this does have an onboard battery, which will give your, um, your phone couple more extra hours of playtime so you can actually charge your phone while playing uh, games on it. That's just the charging piece I wanted to cover. Now looking at the features in more detail, uh, obviously this is your power button. So what happens actually, um, and I'll show you in a second, when you put the phone inside of the cradle, this is actually a mechanical button that actually presses the real button on the iPhone or on the iPod touch. Turn it on. All right. This obviously is your pause button. You want to pause the game. Here you have your D-pad, which feels nice and springy, eight directional. And over here you have our X, A, Y, B um, buttons. We usually call them your action buttons. Um, and then. Like in the uh, Xbox 360, the analog nubs, one is up in the upper left hand corner, one is on the, on the lower right hand corner. So very similar to the Xbox 360 layout. Uh, and even the Xbox One as well. The Xbox One layout, Xbox 360 layout, very similar. And here is the switch to turn on and off the uh, charging mechanism to charge your phone. So when you turn it on, you're actually gonna use the built-in battery to charge your phone while it's uh, plugged into the uh, uh, controller. Um, and of course, over here, we have four LEDs um, that actually tell you the charging status of the battery when you charge it. And of course, when you're using it, it would actually show you, because it's four levels, of course. So when all four are lit, you have a full battery. And then, of course, when you have three lit, you have 75% charge. When you have two lit, you have 50% charge. When you have one lit, you have, uh, you know, 25% charge or one quarter charge left in the battery. Now, the battery that comes with this, it's that's built into the control. It's an 1800 milliampere hour battery. And you must be asking yourself, what are these pieces of orange plastic? Well, what these are, these are actually adapters. So if you're using um, 
the uh, iPod Touch, the fifth generation iPod Touch, you would actually use these adapters inside of here. And if you're using the, you know, the iPhone 5 or 5S, and in my case, I've actually been using an iPhone 5S, you would use the black adapters. So the black adapters right now are already inside. So let me show you how, how it works. You open up the device like that, and let me show you where the adapters are. So these are the adapters for the iPhone um, 5 or 5S. You just actually put them out of place like so these ones were pretty tight let me just see if I can slide that one out all right so that comes out like that all right so for the 5 or 5s which is this I would use these black adapters if I had a fifth uh, generation iPod touch I would actually put these um, inside of here like that all right just going like this correct yeah and it's easy to understand because all you have to do, see the shape of the Moga emblem? Once that shape actually fits and molds, is in line with the shape of the uh, pieces of plastic, you're, you're good to go, right? Easiest way to look at it with the orange ones, the black stripes on the top, and then going like that. And then you put your iPod touch inside, and then you close it in. And right here, there's a little port. That port plugs into the bottom of your phone. So, um,. So for the purpose of this, I have an iPhone 5S, so I'm going to take these orange adapters out. Okay, bye bye adapters, and I'm going to put the black ones back in. That was what I was using for my, with my iPhone 5S. Just slide into place like that. It's not really rocket science it's upside down into place now my iPhone 5s what I do I take my iPhone here's the bottom of the iPhone I have to plug this into this port here so what I do just rest the top part in here for slide it and then what I'm going to do is a spring mechanism so pull the phone extend the controller fully out like that and then you see there's a space here Then you slowly let the spring mechanism push it back in and then you just help it back in by just pushing it in and it's the phone is connected now at the back here now MOGA has this thing called SMRT lock technology and all it is it's a fancy little lock that actually when you switch the lock on it stops this from opening, so it just doesn't open anymore. I'm pulling it, it's not opening, and that keeps the, the phone snugly and securely in its cradle. Now, it's that simple. Now, before we turn it on, let's just look at the other uh, buttons. So I said these are the analog nubs. We have our X, A, Y, B action buttons. Um, we have a power button here, which actually, as you can see, it's right over the power button, the physical power button of the iPhone. So when I press it, it's actually just a mechanical button turns on and off the phone here's your pause button and then this here is your switch to turn on and off the uh, the to connect the battery that's in here to the phone to charge the phone you can press this button here this actually is a button that gives you the status of your battery so if you press it uh, it'll tell you the battery you know what the status of the battery is I'm gonna turn it on just for the, see if I have any charge in the battery so FYI even if the battery is dead you can still use the controller to play games, um, but you're just going to be using, you know, when the battery on the phone runs out, you know, you're out of luck. You have to charge your phone again, right? So I just turned on the chart, the uh, external battery, and I'm pressing, and there's nothing coming up on the indicator. So the battery is pretty much dead, but that's okay. You can still demo using the, uh, the game. So let's look at the buttons on the top. So we have our shoulder buttons, and yes, there are two shoulder buttons on either side. You have your regular shoulder buttons on the top, and then you have your trigger buttons, which is good for first-person shooter games and whatnot. And then we did talk about our, I said, I think they call this a mini USB. It's actually a micro USB port. And that's common in most smartphones. And we talked about the SMRT lock. And, and look at that. What I love about it, it turns your everyday ordinary iPhone into a game console and look here is a 
third generation PSP and here's the Moga iPhone 5S combo and as you can see there's a lot of similarities between both consoles um, what I like about this is that you know um, you get a phone and game in one and when you're not using it you can just take it out and use the phone but as you can see the design is very similar of course there's two shoulder buttons on either side and dual analog knobs this is more modern uh, the PSP which was an older design still had single shoulder buttons and only one analog stick and that was a big issue that um, a lot of people had with the Sony portable gaming system. Um, FYI I will be doing a series of videos on the PSP line and the PS Vita as well. You know looking back at, at, or at what gaming was like in the early 2000s. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the MOGA Ace. So let's turn this on and I'm actually going to run a couple games and show you. So there are, there are a subset of games that are compatible with the MOGA Ace. Um, and I found five good ones and I'm actually going to list them at the bottom of this video. Um, and what I'm going to do anyway is do a run through of each game and just show you what the gameplay looks like. So let's go to gameplay. Now it's advisable to charge your um, the backup battery in the MOGA Ace. Now, the, what to do to charge, you just use this mini USB charging port right here. So I have a cable, which I'm going to disconnect one end into there. And then on my laptop, I can charge by connecting to my USB jack on my laptop. And as you can see, the LEDs flash to show the status of the battery. And it's charging. And if you want to get an idea of where you are in the charging process, just press the button here and it flashes so all four of my LEDs are flashing which means that this battery is fully charged um, if it was three LEDs or two or even one then it's you know partially charged and it will you know you need to leave it for like an hour maybe just to make sure it's fully charged so that's how you charge your MOGA ACE so let's demo some games so first off let's put the iPhone 5S in the cradle connect this bottom here like that pull out like that it falls in place push together everything's in place to lock it remember there's this little switch here at the back called the SMRT lock technology and I'm pulling it and it's everything is snugly in place now let's turn it on here here's my thumbprint oh let me just unlock it for a second Okay, I've unlocked it. Now let's. I did test a couple of games. Um, I will list them at the bottom of this video. Let's start with Tread, Dead Trigger 2. So 